Hey there, Jiggies. Drill Bum and Juggernauts here. Welcome to the final day of E3. Um, I'm actually going to be heading to the trade floor momentarily. I'm just going to grab lunch somewhere random that I find outside. I need to get back on the diet. I miss it dearly. I was playing some 3DS this morning. I'm super excited to check out the Nintendo booth today. I'll be doing that in a couple hours. They're going to be giving me a tour. I'm going to get some great footage. But yeah, I truly need to thank Nintendo for getting me the E3 pass, for basically getting me out here, because I was not I was never intending to come. This was so out of nowhere. So, uh, so I have to thank them and uh, definitely get some footage for them to show you guys, because they hooked me up. And uh, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for them, and also for you guys. So let's make that happen. Hey, Juggies, walked a few miles, like eight blocks at least. Um, at this strange like cafe area, Mendocino, Mendocino Farms. It's kind of like an organic, healthy place. As you can see, the cow represent. Uh, I'm gonna take a picture with that thing. So we get us out, uh, just meal prep before I go into the final day of the three. They even give you a buzzer, like you're making reservations at a restaurant. Yeah, guys, you know, just chilling in the back of the bus because that's where the cool kids sit. It's the cool kids in the back. Well, actually, the unruly kids in the back. Middle, it's kind of like the middle of the ground kids, and the, the losers, the smart kids, are on the front, the quiet kids. It's usually how it works. This is, this is sad, this is depressing. This is the ride to E3. There's only, I think, two to three hours left of the convention. I'm on my way now. Time to don the badge. For the last time before it goes into storage, I'll, I'll frame it. I'll always remember, first time in E3. Expo Pro, mother So. Yeah, hopefully Nintendo's got some uh, good shit, uh, some good footage for us. Let's really show you some games, some highlights. Uh, I'm pretty excited. I need to make sure I get some merchandise also before I leave to commemorate the trip. We're back on the uh, E3 trade floor here. Last day, we literally only have like an hour and a half left, so I'm gonna scramble as best I can, get some random footage, go to the Nintendo booth, get some of that. So here we go, last day. It's definitely clearing out. Check out how Mass Chief's doing. He's looking good as always. Let me get a little, hold on, get a little rear shot. Mmm, looking tight. Good, good. Just met up with Chris here at E3. He tracked me down. I said, hey, we met up. We're hanging out right now by outside uh, YouTube Gaming. And believe it or not, this is good timing. Uh, Freddie W is actually sitting there on the couch. There he is, guys. Video game high school mastermind right there, Rocket Jump. So Chris seemed to think that my brother has some redeeming qualities, totally fought for his case. I don't know about that. <laughs> it was nice meeting you, man. I hope you're watching this video right now. Keep it very rigid. Yeah. So yeah, so one life for each level. Yes. <laughs> Sweet. Yeah, if you need to play, we'll get you on something. But if you just want to film, just use use the room. All right, okay. thank you. Okay. All right, Juggies, here's Star Fox Zero. Looks like some serious Star Fox 64 throwback. This looks great. Graphics are beautiful. There's Slippy's bitch ass. Fox! Do a barrel roll! Wow, that looks great. We can't let you do that, Star Fox. So yeah, we're giving a uh, free roam on the booth, just trying to get some game footage. Um, oh, here's Yo Yoshi's Woolly World right here. So this is Yoshi's Woolly World. Uh, it looks a lot like Yoshi's Island, but apparently you don't actually use eggs. It's all yarn-based, which I believe was inspired by um, a yarn plush toy that was made. Very cool. This right here is Super Mario Maker. Uh, this is actually a custom-made level by Nintendo. It's playing as Link right now. So crazy. Pretty much your imagination is the only limitation in this game. I've seen some ridiculous maps, as you can already see. <laughs> Literally just a clusterfuck. <laughs> Apparently when you get a mushroom, you turn into Link. That's kind of sick. Holy crap. Wow. 
some more Super Mario Maker. Crazy. <laughs> oh my god. All those Magic Koopas. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit. Some more Yoshi's Woolly World. This is JD and Paul here. They uh, stream and are on YouTube. <laughs> oh, Paul, okay. All right, here we go. Oh, no, well, watch out. Watch out. I, I swallowed my next game. Wait, what are you doing? Let me go. Hey, man, take that. See, they're not very good. I can't play the game. No, stop. Oh, I don't want to use your aim. Yes, you do. You aim them up there, and then you throw. Yeah, they're doing co op right now. They're not really co oping well. This is actually the editing mode for Super Mario Maker. Even while you're playing the level, you can literally just change the settings. So, so if one part's a little hard, you can just edit it. Speed run, oh Crazy. <laughs> it turned on auto scroll just then. It kind of reminds me of a uh, Minecraft creative mode where you just fly around and uh, make changes and stuff. Upload your maps to the community and uh, other people can play them and stuff. You can also literally switch games. So we just went from from classic Super Mario Bros to uh, Super Mario Bros for Wii, Wii U. So that's it, Juggies. That's where I was. Met some cool people. Uh, I was actually uh, Game Grumps who was playing uh, Super Mario Maker one time. Uh, then we had JD and his friend Paul. They have a uh, YouTube channel and Twitch stream as well. Um, also back there was uh, the game theorist, uh, Matt Pat, who was also in there. So there's some cool faces. I was looking at the list of people that actually went on that tour and it was like, like everybody. <laughs> It was like that YouTube party all over again. But yeah, E3 is over. Um, it's pretty much just a few minutes left. Uh, and then that's it. That's all she wrote. We'll return to anchor breaking news coverage on cable network. It's a puppy dog face. Um, took the bus home. It's kind of like that feeling, you know, you went on a class field trip, had a great time back in like elementary school. And now it's to the point where uh, there's nothing left. It's sad. Depression. Uh, yeah, luckily I have still have another day uh, here, so I'll just be chilling. Uh oh, elevator. Oh, I get to make out with myself. Mmm, mmm, uh, everybody's. <laughs> I can't believe I did. Oh, there's a camera in here. Awkward. I don't know if this will be included in the final cut. <laughs> well, Juggies, that's it. It's the end of an era. I uh, just wanted to thank Nintendo for giving me the chance to come out here. None of this would have been possible had they not reached out to me and been like, hey, are you going to E3? And I said no. Then they extended the invitation. Also got to thank you, Juggies. Like, uh, but I... <laughs> that encompasses everything. Like, you guys have seriously changed my life, allowed these opportunities to come and uh, support me even through all the bullshit. Uh, so thank you once again. In keeping with this week's theme, it's just kiss your guys' ass and then thank you and just fucking love you to death. Also, pretending this is like an official paper, I gotta do that in conclusion paragraph that summarizes everything. E3 was an absolute blast. The last three days all were one big blur. I got to see so many new great games titles coming out all in the next year and it's just, oh man, there's so many people I met, a lot of new connections formed. It was just so awesome that I got to experience LA and will continue to do so. But E3, I hope I can get to go next year um, and maybe I could even bring a friend or two. Maybe bring one of you guys. We could have like a contest or something. I don't know. I'm already getting excited for next year. But yeah, everybody's got some new games coming to the table and they're all really good. I might be uh, dipping in to each one, to each console. Well, I gotta get a new a Wii U first. Um, as I said in that first E3 video, um, if you guys somehow are able to, I got to meet a handful of Juggies. One of the Juggies said that he had a connection that actually got him to be the plus one. Like he didn't actually work for the industry, but he knew someone who did, and he was able to come through there. Um, if you guys can somehow break break into this, like start a blog or a YouTube channel or a gaming stream, something to, if you're a gamer, E3 is just an amazing experience. I recommend it for everyone. And uh, I mean, there's plenty of time. I don't think it's going anywhere. If anything, it's just going to get bigger and bigger. Don't forget to subscribe for more content. Twitter and links in the description. 
as I said before, I'm gonna go get some food. Uh, I'm gonna shut down the vlog for tonight and I'm gonna switch to live stream mode. I am here all day tomorrow. Um, I have a couple meetings to do uh, with some multi-channel networks. They're interested in my channel, which could be good or bad. I don't really know. Um, but it'd be nice to definitely meet some more people and talk. So, and then Saturday I'll be gone. Um, but don't worry, I'll have videos uh, coming out uh, tomorrow and the next day. And then I'll be back home Sunday for, uh... <laughs> Forgot. Uh... I'll be home for Father's Day. That's that's when I'll be home. So that that just is a bittersweet ending to this awesome trip, and then I come home to Father's Day, the day you just have to love your daddy. All right, Juggies, love you all, death, and don't forget to keep it rigid. Also, forgot to mention this little highlight. I was just walking across the floor and I see these crumpled up little piece of paper thing on the floor and I was like, holy shit, that's green! And I literally dove for it and it was a $10 bill. Everybody around me was like, what the fuck? Like, what just happened? And I was on the ground and I was just like clenching this $10 bill. I was like, yes! Yes! And everyone was just like... Only at E3, guys.